Yeah. Okay, you said child. Teenagers, man. Te- I, Young adults. How old am I? That's, I mean, yeah. colloquially. That, no, no, we, no, yeah. Nobody really knows the answer to that question. <laughs> It's a mystery that none of us can solve. <laughs> We're still on the verge of finding out. <laughs> Barrett's like, yeah, the gas crisis of 75. <laughs> I oh, felt man. it. Recorded live from the Maddie Johnson podcast studio at GOT Sound Studio in Columbia, South Carolina. This is the All About Nothing podcast. The views expressed on this program are the opinions of the host. Some content and subject matter may not be appropriate. Listener discretion is advised. Listeners are encouraged to follow the show at theallaboutnothing.com for links to social media and more. Listeners can call the show at 803-672-0533. Thank you for listening. All right. Welcome back to another episode of the All About Nothing podcast. I'm Barrett Gruber, joined by Zach King and Trent Clark. And Man, say that again. Hi, Barrett. Hi, Trent. <laughs> Hello. I hit the button. I don't understand. He tried to silence me. See? See, now I'm trying to silence the... Uh, I'm trying to silence the oppressor. The, I'm not the oppressor. He's the oppressor. I'm the oppressor. <laughs> yeah. I'm You're silencing Trent and I. I turned uh, it on. Oh, I know I know what button I pressed. The wrong one? I could hear you, but I didn't see... Yeah. Anyway. I wasn't registering on the mixer. Hey, uh, oh. we are we are less than two weeks away from the election. Have you uh, have y'all voted early yet? No. I was going to vote like I normally do. Just... Oh, on the day of? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I did... Voting, no. No? I, I I actually like the early voting because I'm not standing in line with quite as many people. That's why you meet. That's how you meet friends, Barrett. You know, I'm a proponent of voting not being a hassle, but doing it early seems like a hassle. He says, "No, it's not. It's wow. so easy. And you just walk in. So you could do it tomorrow if you wanted. Hey, you could do it tomorrow. You could do it on lunch. You just takes go like ten minutes to where you would normally vote. No, it's a school. No, what you want to do is check SC Govs. Uh, scvotes.gov because if you go check that out then you will it, it will disclose exactly what locations are open because not all locations are open for uh, early voting right okay uh, that makes sense then. but uh, but SC it's votes.gov. it's so easy scvotes.gov um, mm-hmm. I went to the uh, Judd Larkin's uh, Joe Wilson debate on Monday night was it good uh, you know I'm I, I uh, Joe Wilson says a lot of things that I think that uh, it would have been really good on Judd's part to attack. Not attack necessarily, but at least uh, rebut. Yeah. Uh, was be- there some mud slinging happening in person? No, not really. It was a very cordial Man, I debate. Got, I would have got the mud slinging in person. I forget the commercials. I want to see you in person. Look yeah. at his weak ass turkey neck. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. Look at I that did, gobbler. I've, I've, him the whole time. I've, I've met Joe Wilson several times, but seeing him stand next to six foot two or six foot three Judd Larkins versus Joe Wilson, who's like five, five, my judge four. should have been like, oh, "What yeah. are those?" Yeah, uh, yeah, the lifts. <laughs> <laughs> Judd's not short. No, that's what I'm saying. Oh, Judd's yeah, like yeah. six two, six three. I'm trying to remember. The, you you remember when fucking like, Joe Wilson came to Ellet Brothers, don't you? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So there's a picture of me and him because I, before I really knew Colluding. who he was. Well, yeah. he's just shaking my hand, and I'm like. Yeah, he was the campaign guy. He used him for his campaign. He's like, there's a there's a handsome white boy wearing a dang old pastel colored polo while he's loading guns. Loading and guns. His ass off. A great American person right here. This isn't, is what you call an all-American boy right exactly here. exactly what it in, was. Isn't Chapin mostly just attractive white men? Not, Not at Ella Brothers. brothers. <laughs> <laughs> they, they had to find they had to find Zach in the cut. They was like, yeah, Whoa. we're not gonna. Oh, it's a lot of black, black, black brown, now. Oh, white guy with beard. <laughs> oh Let's God. get him. This guy looks like he's shaved. He's relatable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I did. I did record the debate, and I did. I did pick out a, a few of the highlights. So this is how it opened. And welcome to Riverbluff High School for tonight's second congressional district debate between Republican Congressman Joe Wilson and his Democratic challenger Doug Larkin. So the whole thing was run by kids. Uh, the at the at the high school. I was a child. Yeah, th- yeah. Don't <laughs> it didn't sound like a child. No. Oh yeah. No. Very professional. They're, they did a good job. Yeah. Over at, well, it's a high schooler. Yeah. Okay. You said child. Teenagers, man. Te- uh, Young adults. How old am I? That's. I mean. Yeah. Colloquially. That, no. 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 We, yeah. Nobody really knows the answer. To that question. <laughs> It's a mystery that none of us can solve. <laughs> We're still on the verge of finding out. <laughs> Barrett's like, yeah, the gas crisis of 75. <laughs> I oh, felt it. Man. Let me do some. How old is he? I remember when gas price was under 60 cents. 
Sixty wow. cents a gallon. I remember when it was like a dollar five. When it went to seventy-seven cents my senior year, I was pissed. I was like, I don't make enough money for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making twenty cents an hour. So I'm they, not delivering pizzas. So they introduced the candidates, and this was what we got. At this time, please welcome to the stage our candidates: Democrat Judge Larkins and Republican Congressman Joe Wilson. Yeah, a lot of cheering. The and and and. I wish they would have did one at a time so they can see whose cheer was more louder for the which person. Oh, trust you know me. They're all going like... Trust me. You, you remember when he was super disrespectful to Obama and called him a liar? <laughs> I, God, I, I gave that. I gave serious consideration to, to yelling you lied during the debate, but I was you like, lied. no. Judd would be like, Jesus fucking No, Christ. no. He worshipped him. <laughs> yeah, they were... They, they, they almost don't certainly... Grab, don't grab Barrett's arm too hard. He's it, like 50... <laughs> 40... I don't know. He, he's an old man. I'm yeah, that's fair. That's uh, yeah, it's uh, it, so so. Judd came out and, and introduced himself, and this was pretty good. Good evening, everyone. Um, I would like to thank the students of River Bluff High for hosting us tonight. Also, thank you, Representative Wilson, for your 21 years of service to this district. And of course, a big thank you to each and every one of you here. Seemed unnecessary. And watching at home. My name is Judd Larkins, and I am running to be your next congressman so that we can turn the page here in the Midlands. It is my vision that we will start securing our. He was good. Judd Judd was good. In older uh, he he stayed on point. He he didn't he didn't we sway. Uh, you could tell he was a little nervous. Sure. Um, but, also, but all in all, it, it was it was good. He introduced himself to. Uh, they mentioned that during the debate that this was the second debate, but it's the only one that I knew of. And I, I, forgot I understood he hadn't done it before. Yeah, this was this was the first debate, even though the, the, the person that introduced said this was the second one. My vision is yeah, that's a high school error right there. Yeah. In our rural communities. I grew up in a two-stoplight town of 96. I know that if you give our rural communities resources, they thrive. And we can invest in a way that will bring well-paying jobs, as well as additional access to healthcare and education. My vision is also that we get past all of this useless partisan fighting and start working together I'd as agree. Americans. That's a great point. We need to be focused on the common ground and bringing you results, not insults. Mm. And this vision, it's been crafted well, thousands that's of years. That's your message. That's why he's not going to dirt throw. Yeah. And I get it. He doesn't dirt throw. I'm not uh, ready to take. Not on the record. I'm just kidding. I'm going to take your voice to the halls of Congress. This election is about choosing the best candidate with the right vision at this moment in time. And I'm kindly asking for your vote here tonight. Thank you. Yeah. So he did good. He did good. Uh, Joe... Joe Wilson did what you I... clapped pretty hard there. You, you, could you hear me clap? That was a slow clap. What was that? That I, was a... It was a... <laughs> Were you standing up trying to start a slow clap? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. That would have been funny as hell. They're yeah. like, God damn. They're like, sir, that was just an opening argument or no. opening statement. What was crazy was like where I sat, which was right behind like a VIP section, which was basically for his staffers and whatnot and mm-hmm. family and whatever. Uh, where I sat, I'm sitting there and this white haired guy who looks official, like I'm sure he works at the school comes over and says, uh, are you all comfortable here? And I looked up and I was like, yeah, I'm good. And he goes, uh, cause we really intended on y'all sitting in the middle. And I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here. I'm not in the middle. Is it, is, it, is it better seats? Is the sound quality? Uh, whatever. Hey, he's seat. like, I've been in here. I've been in here studying the echolocation. <laughs> Let me tell you what, that River Bluff high school is unbelievable. Have you ever been there? there? Uh, yeah. That um, you played football. They, I played football, but I think they got a new school. So yeah, well, it's it is it is basically like it wasn't a the same small college, had it. unlike yeah. Chapin High School's auditorium. That's close to Lexington, right? Close. It's right off of uh, Corley Mill. Yep, yep. I know yeah, it's Chapin it is, don't even have an auditorium. You just go to the gym, right? Well, no, Chapin's way bigger. I'm yeah, I was going to say, say Chapin's. Have, you, have Chapin's, you been to the high school lately? And now they're moving the high school, aren't they? They're moving the high school over across mm-hmm. the street. They're I, like they're gonna they're going they they, they think, bought I a bunch of property th- from the yeah. the town of Chapin or Lexington something or something like that. No, it's across the street from Chapin High School. Well, a toilet bowl. Hello, brothers. Oh, it's Chapin. Sorry, is I'm that a, where they put it? No, it's like right beside the um, you know where they're uh, moving the high school. No, I think um, I lady, believe the, I think the lady from Elliott Brothers moved. If yeah. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently there was land that was donated, and and the only thing like it was donated to the school. And the school had like a certain amount of time to use it, so they're like, "Well, fuck, we'll just move. A, we'll move the school." 
It doesn't surprise me that, you know, alumni don't do that. I do follow, like, Chapin High School friends. I don't or think whatever. they're going to move the whole school, though. It's, I just think it's going to be, like, sectioned off. I think something else is going to go over there, maybe, like, oh, okay. a bigger soccer yeah. field or a new football stadium. Well, or, they already got the new football stadium, but I think they got They don't need a new one. They need a practice field. Uh, and then and then you got to get a B squad practice, practice field in the back over there. What no, that's not the same thing. No, but don't no, you? No. But don't that's you change. then have that's to? Track. That's all track now. But then you have to. Where are they going to grow their marijuana? Um, it's cheap. It, it's cheap. Right? It's plenty of land. It's plenty of land. <laughs> Three <laughs> dog rolls got a lot. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you how that's, bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we had we had a ten year. There was a ten year. where he used to stay. County car wash. There was a ten year high school reunion, and nobody told like my class for it or whatever. It was just the like. Rich kids that got together. That doesn't surprise me. I'm like, what the fuck? It was a Facebook group. My class did the same thing, but I was invited. You know, so I had a couple of friends. You know what I mean? So I I I just, I just didn't go. I I just think it was like a day I was like booked or something. I am a little salty about it. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I (laughs) fucking hate you guys. The point is to have your own reunion with the people people that you you want to like. Yeah, you don't want to hang out with those people. Talking to you guys and I'm processing it. I hated them all. Yeah, they probably hated you too. You know? Oh man, I was popular with everybody. He was. He was. I, I will say. I, I will say. I did not go to my ten year or my twenty year reunion, mm. and it was. And I think my twenty five re, year reunion. You did that fifteen? Yeah. No, we didn't do a fifteen. No. I think there's going to be a twenty five. This I think year. I've seen this year is my fifteen. So I'm not. I hadn't heard anything. Yeah. Maybe, maybe by my fifteen, we'll have to walk through with metal detectors because I'm. Yeah. I'm, I'm showing up. Uh, That's what you say. Have you been to the high school? I'm like, you just frowned upon if they don't expect you to be there anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have no, to go I'm to saying, the I'm office. Saying, I'm, I want to be famous. Badge. I'm gonna be famous. Be like, oh, Mister. Oh, yeah. Mister. Clark. Yeah. No, he's Mr. absolutely Clark. right. He's, he's coming. Right. Someone's getting he's made coming. in the school again. Hater. DJ Lonzo. You mad? You be disappointed. You he's mad party. that he didn't get on MTV. That's the reason why he's mad. I <laughs> do. When they say, anytime you have to enter something, like make a video, I'm like, ah, t- I'm out. You didn't have to make no video. I don't know. Because back in the day, it used to mean like, go get a video recorder. Hey, what'd you, uh, what'd you think about the video that Trent and I did over the weekend? I thought it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Because I would have broken that switch Fair. too, Trent. And and also and also I have to, I have to correct out. myself because somebody told me that what I said was wrong. It's an all inclusive park. Oh. But so I said, just said, said it wrong. You said, said all. You said autistic. You thought, uh, yeah. Autistic. <sighs> yeah. He didn't mean to. But it's an all inclusive part. But that's technically still. I mean, I don't kids with. But it's supposed to be kid, all different sizes. Yeah, if there's a 350 yeah, kid, 350 pound kid running around that park. Well, first of all, not running, but lumbering around that park. Correct. Uh, and and they. Um, there was a 350 pound kid lumber. No, 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 no. I'm just saying it's uh, all inclusive. He 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 wants to he wants to allow everyone to get. Are you saying that. I'm 350 pounds? No, 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 no that's, not, that's not where I was going. I'm just saying I'm just saying that there are size limitations to some of the things at this park, dude. It could it's happen not to supposed me. to be. It's not supposed <laughs> dude, to be. We, Gab- Gabrielle and I went to Irmo Park like a week ago and took Eden, and I was like, well, this whole the swing is metal. Yeah, it's chained. Yeah. It's like so you can on? trust that the things at the park they they're like not really all the way metal. It's, it's like it's oh, like, it's not. I didn't realize that's that. what you got. That's what you got to realize. See, see, we got to go do see, part it's, two. It's the chain. No, there ain't no part. We got to go, go investigate. Go <laughs> <laughs> We're investigating parks. <laughs> but uh, it's like, bring it in, it's park like, ranger. But it's like a casting of 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 the thing of the rope. You know what I'm saying? It's not the actual like whenever it broke, it was no steal in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, the, the ones I'm talking about were was like metal on metal, full on steel, and I was like, I can swing again. But you was you was pushing your daughter on that thing. Yeah, you, you think I see grown grown ass see, men I, on that same thing? But you I, think I'm they're... not? I'm not gonna make that attempt. I'm not gonna make. You that wouldn't ride that thing at my age. Uh, and the osteoporosis. You wouldn't let your daughter push you in. in that thing? No. You, my my daughter's got a broken arm. I, you have two of them, sir. Don't don't <laughs> That's don't. Why we had two. That's why we had two. <laughs> so he tried to give me. Oh, my daughter has like, a broken hey, arm. You have two. He did. he did, and you got it good. Yeah, because you have two daughters. You, you have the excuse my dad used to use on me. He's like, you're the heir. He's the spare. <laughs> I was like, that's, that's kind of fucked up, Dad. <laughs> so, uh, so if just I in get case broke, you fuck he, just, up. he just takes my spot. Yeah, yeah. And if, if I never well, get broke, also because you're the firstborn, so yeah. the firstborn, you are the heir. I would, he's the I would get the Iron Throne. Correct. Yeah, correct. Yeah. yeah. Fair. You're right. Prince Henry or, Joe. or whatever his name. <laughs> Joe, Joe Charles. Wilson. Charles. Oh, no, no, not even Charles. Is his name Charles? Now the new king. Yeah, King Charles. The new king, but the son. 
the, is uh, Prince William. William. Yeah. So William would get it when his dad dies. Correct. Well, it, could you imagine waiting around 74 years? For no. your dad to die. For, 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 well, for your mom to, to pass away. Like, like this woman Facts. just kept kicking and kicking and kicking and just kept going. I mean, not like prime ministers. Uh, yeah. in the, yeah, the, the new prime minister just resigned. Well, after yeah, 40, 46 days? Yeah. The, 40, 45 days? It's the you know, quickest prime minister ever. Technically, in the United States, uh, in some states, that abortion wouldn't have been allowed. Mm, uh, that's, that's fair. <laughs> it's too late. Yeah. Um, so Joe Wilson went up on. You, you went there, the bear. Just <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, I had to think about that, it. If that prime minister had been a fetus, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it would have been too soon. <laughs> she was, technically, she was still in her infancy uh, as a prime minister oh yeah, before. God. Before she completely shit wrecked. Oh the yeah, she didn't, country. probably didn't even gain insurance. It's like a sixty day po- policy, oh, yeah. right? You got to do yeah, sixty yeah, yeah. days. Ninety days. Ninety days. That's what it is. <laughs> you don't get. You don't. You don't get the the uh, protection. You don't get none of that. <laughs> Ninety days. She missed out. Uh, Not eighty nine. But then, but then <laughs> and I, I don't have his name. But they they Dental. did they did uh, they they did bring in a new prime minister who is uh, of uh, of South Asian descent, so he's Indian. Uh, and so it's the first uh, first uh, individual. Who uh, who's not white mm-hmm. to be okay. the prime minister of the UK? Oh, really? Uh, That's awesome. But he's but he's also pretty hardline right wing. Like he oh, is extremely awesome. conservative. Hell, he's Dinesh D'Souza. Yeah, he's Dinesh <laughs> D'Souza. That's essentially what he is. Yeah. So Joe uh, Joe Wilson came out and introduced himself. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here tonight. I want to thank uh, River Bluff High School in the most pandering uh, way you could. Uh, oh, you can tell he's been talking for twenty one years. years. He's like, so all right, everybody. Oh, yeah. It's really fitting uh, that we're here at a high school. Uh, <laughs> front row? Bear was in the front row? Third row. <laughs> Third row. I can feel the power. Not in the middle. <laughs> should have showed you the kids. You can make lifelong friends. In fact, I uh, met my wife, Roxanne. That's how you dis- here, he just goes like. Uh, at a teenage Republican camp. And so you can make. I just want to point out, we're, we're 30 seconds into it. He is still not uh, spoken as to why he's campaigning. Or why well, he doesn't need to, Bear. It's because he's trying to pander to everybody. If I've said it once, I've said it twice. If I've said it. I've already won. I've already won. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. The ballot's <laughs> Judd and Joe. <laughs> Judd and Joe. They will say that. Additionally, I've lived the Republican Revolution here in South Carolina. When I The Republican Revolution. Oh, listen, he gets into it. Uh, now, uh, did you know about this war? Uh, we have Republican supermajority. Essentially, in the state, yeah. Essentially, what he's saying was when he came in, when he was elected, there was were Democrat? virtually there were virtually no Republicans in office, which is not true Mm-mm. at all. Oh, okay. Uh, he's he's he's. <laughs> making... I say we were a blue state before. Yeah, he's like <laughs> this place used to be a liberal haven. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> could you Im- could you imagine? Like, Jim Hodges was around yeah. smoking dope. Jim Hodges was one. Lou Holtz. A one two, eight, oh, my gosh. <laughs> the one <laughs> years of USC. <laughs> we have uh, every state one official in South Carolina. That's when the biggest fight happened the between Carolina and Clemson was Lou Holtz. Yeah. <laughs> Neither one of us got both. I know. I know. Today, uh, it's reversed. It was a good game. There's one Democrat. Everybody else, thank goodness, are very capable and competent. For us. Republicans. Uh, That's why we fought. I know. <laughs> and, uh, you have been watching that live? And we saw that with Donald Trump, and that is that we had record low unemployment for African Americans, for Hispanics, for Asian Americans, from uh, young uh, people, and for women uh, with his jobs, of, uh, which also produced uh, 2% uh, inflation. That's all. Uh, 2% also inflation. Republicans mm. stand for energy independence, uh, lower and gas prices, do they? Uh, expansion of uh, clean uh, nuclear the reason- fuel. Uh, this can be Clean high. nuclear fuel. Uh, also, I'm I'm not I'm not against nuclear that nuclear power. No that, you don't. Uh, the word's not fuel. Are we producing that here though? Uh, at the plant? Yeah. Well, yeah. oh, that's what we do. Okay. Yeah, we I thought so. We make uh, we make power. And now young but people live the dam uh, all over the world, mm. with right. which aircraft. burns coal and so, and as well. They burn coal at the bottom of the dam too. I didn't. Uh, why? I don't. I okay. I, I may not be right. I see smoke coming out of the sta- the smokestack. Uh, no, you don't. Oh. 
is critical. I used to, I every time I drive by it, I think about, I was like, that thing never is on. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I haven't seen it in a while. But maybe that was like the, twice a week, every week. Anyway, maybe that was the late heater. I wasn't even listening to Joe anymore. <laughs> it's just that's the same the shit rambling. you yeah, give yeah, from. Yeah. yeah, I, I was, I was really uh, surprised at the. Uh, I, I want to call it the invoking of Trump's name, and every time like he would say Trump's name or like start to veer towards that direction. Like you could see all the people sitting over on the on the other side, the audience for Joe. Uh, you could see him like getting ready. They're gonna they're gonna clap. It was it was pretty pathetic. Man, if, if I ended up being able to go to that on Monday, I probably would have fucking argued or almost oh, a fighting with someone. Were they letting people have questions? No, no, these questions were prepared by the students. Uh, and 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 admittedly, when Joe That's came, Judd, Judd came over and greeted me and said hello. It's not fair, Barrett. I he, mean, uh, exactly because they can't vote on it. <laughs> no, the students had the question. I know yeah, that's yeah. what they I'm were, saying. Well, you were, you, you think, want like think, the people that can actually vote to be able to ask the questions. I assume right? that they were of the age of 18, or I, maybe not. Getting, so, you know, a lot of high school kids just turning 18 in high school. Yeah, that's. I, I turned 19 I, in high school. Oh yeah, you did. You were old. Yeah, but but they wanted to make sure you got one of those grades perfect, right? The sixth one. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I didn't fail it. No, nah, nah. It's no child left behind, but they left you behind, though. A little bit. They were like, listen, you made C's. C's <laughs> you can do it one more time. Let's try it one more time. See if you really I like was like, it. I'm si- <laughs> what, How old are you in sixth grade? You're like 12, 13? Uh, sixth grade? Like, I'm I was starting to get hair on my balls. 12. Things are interesting. And you know now. the crazy thing is? That, not they left him back one, and then they move your sister up one grade. So it was kind of like. Try hard. And, <laughs> and the best part is, if she got, she said she would beat me in GPA. I graduated with a, a 4.3 mm. GPA. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. 4.0. Okay. 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 About 4.3. I was like, how you no, get no, that? You can get, you can get higher. You can get higher GPA. Oh, I was you only take in AP college. Classes. I had to get a 3. Point. No, AP classes. I, I had I had to get a three point eight or higher, and I got a four point zero, and Shelby got a three point eight. Okay, so I, I beat. And she talked all that shit, and I was like, "Hey, <laughs> have we have we gotten Shelby to uh, use her chickens to uh, peck a jack o' lantern yet?" No, but I did send it to her. Did she? Did, did she? She respond? didn't even respond. Ah, Shelby. Hey, Dis- but speaking of always disappointing, she us. has turkey. Speaking now. of your sister, she turkey. I, if you went to the fair, you seen they had mini cows. They I want had, a mini cow. They dude. showed them. Like they was, I was like, "Yo, this is no this hoofs, is no hoofs." It's, no it's so crazy how small they are. No hoofs, no beaks. It, it's so crazy. Because you have to have a ferryman come out, and <laughs> he just wants to be able to mow the. Gro- if fair, you have a mini fairy. cow, you won't have to mow the lawn anymore. Who says? Dude, <laughs> what dude, are they gonna eat, dude? Horses and cows and shit. They keep that down. Shit is gone. I uh, yeah, I Our still goats too. Goats too. <laughs> I, but that's not the only thing I they eat. They you know they have to be, They don't have to be fed. They don't have to be like. Uh, not like not like um, dogs and stuff like that. Goats for sure don't have to be fed. Well, like, okay, you goats. feed them once a day, like a thing of grain. So you're still feeding them, and you got to be concerned about them veterinary visits and things like that, right? No, not well, at I all. Mean, you have a vet come out, but that's like if something's wrong. wrong. If they're fucking yeah. cool. Most then, time, people are just gonna let that shit happen. So right. again, I say no hoofs, no beaks. <laughs> Which is what you get in hot dogs, beaks and buttholes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he, he loves hot dogs. This, I do. I do love. I do love a hot dog. I, I don't care if they were made out of just pure assholes. If it's, if it's, if it's in a hot dog, I'm having it, man. It's good. Yeah, he said it. He said it. Especially if it's like a if it's a ballpark, if it's like a ballpark hot dog or a Hebrew National, and that bun is that bun is warm and soft, and oh, I don't even need anything on the hot dog. Remember when they had Michael selling hot dogs for? Uh... Uh, what was the Michael? Yeah, ballpark. He, he was on the ballpark. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about Michael like, Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was funny. Michael Jackson. Like tea. <laughs> <laughs> if he would have had tea, that would have worked. <laughs> he would have. He, he, he would have sold the. He would have sold the little ones. I do think. I do think the Doctor. Pe- <laughs> I do think the Doctor Pepper owes Prince family some money for using it for using his likeliness. That guy, the little small guy. That's not Prince, dude. That's the dude from American Idol. What I'm trying to tell you is that person is basically, sweet. Yeah, that is there. That's, that's Prince. Me. He's trying to be Prince. <laughs> He's trying to be Prince. No one will be that, Prince. Exactly. Thank you. That's what I'm trying to get. Prince at. is the only guy that could have a concert in Madison Square Gardens where people come out to see the outfits. I mean, it's not just the music. It's the entertainment of it. All. Straight ass cheeks out. And then and then he tells the 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 stadium uh, Madison Square Gardens to turn the power off, to turn the lights all off. He performed the entire con- almost the entire concert in the dark. That's dope. In the dark. You don't think you don't think that was a vibe? Ah, no, it worked. Like, think if you would have been at that concert and all still, you do, you're feeling the music other than seeing it. So yeah. you're like, 
Oh man, no. yeah. like Prince playing a guitar. Yeah. Man, you would have had chills going through your bones. I still, I, I don't st- like Prince. Uh, really? Oh my god, I'm, we have I re- to discuss I respect this. him. He can play the shit on a guitar. But Eleven I'm, instruments. Oh, let's say that he taught himself. Let's save it for. It's like the Foo Fighters, right? Like I, I like. I, I'm just not a big Foo Fighter fan. You like, will not put the Foo Fighters and Prince in the same sentence ever again. Okay, that's what you're not gonna do. I think. I mean, Prince is he legendary, likes but Foo like, Fighters is Prince, Prince. Is, is Prince, Madonna, and Michael. They're Why? all in one category. Why did we put Madonna in there? Oh, you have to. Why? Because she she dated Michael. She sucks too. She dated Weird Al. Yeah, she also dated Weird Al. Yeah, but she dated Michael. But I think she once you, once you date Michael, it's a, it's a. I get the impression there, based man. on some of the some of the things that I've read and like seen and in, in, on the internet lately that yeah, but her have, relationship with with Weird Al was like intense. intense. Yeah. I mean, they probably had some weird ass sex. You He's Weird it? Al. Weird Al poked <laughs> up like an accordion with like a hard on, just like what is going on? But right I'm not now? about to just disrespect Will. Like he didn't have that money back in the day for making these songs off of like Gangster Paradise. His pro that song. Yeah. Oh, he no. probably made millions off of that. Oh, yeah, no. yeah. Oh yeah, no. And he did. He did really well off of that. To the begrudgement of coolio yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. which yeah. which made it I, if i was coolio i would have slapped him every time i seen well, him. i think i think i think that the record label gave the permission and then coolio didn't don't mm. quote me on that because there's yeah, artists know. that he asked oh yeah uh i think that he wanted to do a song by somebody and it was gonna be a jack and diane with john mellencamp and he oh, was okay. gonna make it mm. charles and diane oh and ooh. then he was like yeah ooh. i'm glad that didn't happen because that would have been a bad look yeah later. yeah yeah, yeah. You know, he wouldn't have so I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I just have to suspect that when it came to like Weird Al, that for the most part, it sounds like he always asked permission to did, to yeah. write a parody, mm. and almost always was given permission to write the parody, which I didn't understand at all. Why? Because now your song is gonna be. It's like I think that's what got Coolio was the fact that his, his song, song was bigger than my up. song. Like his song Thomas had to be Perry. carried. And I'm gonna give you uh, yes. his song had to be carried by a movie. Exactly. So on top of that. You got to think, Lil Wayne did the same thing that Weird Al did whenever he used to do his mixtapes. He would get on other people's beats. Yeah. And you would yeah. not hear the other people's song no more. You yeah. would hear Lil yeah. Wayne's song yeah. before yeah. you hear that. You're like, damn, I should have never gave this motherfucker. Here's another example. <laughs> uh, Alien Ant Farm did Smooth Criminal yeah. for yeah. Michael Jackson. Facts, facts. But when, so when I hear Smooth Criminal, it's. I bam, think Alien Ant Farm. Yeah. It's, yeah. And yeah. that's one of those things like when somebody comes out and does a song better than the original artist yeah. or in a different but, way where it just blows up. But I, I think that that's. I, 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 I think that's flattering. That shit was crazy. You know, if, if you if you hear something and you're like, oh, let me see if I can take that and build off of it. Mm-hmm. I think I think it's flattering to an artist. I think it, and I don't think it's necessarily the easy way out per se because you still have to come up with your own lyrics. But I'm kind of good at doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's already been done, right? Like, You've heard yeah. our theme song yet? Have no. you? Oh, we got a theme no. song. We got to get Zach to work on oh. the uh, the theme song. Yeah, we'll just show. base it off of like uh, fireworks by Katy Perry or something. Or, okay. or, or uh, I can't fireflies. believe it worked. <laughs> I came in like a wrecking ball. So before we before we go to break, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this is uh this was the first question that got asked. Election security has been a hot topic issue. In election years, security, especially as former President Donald Trump has claimed that there was fraud in the 2020 election. To what extent are you confident in the security of this election and elections across the country? And will you accept the results of this election if you were to lose? So based on that, what do you all assume uh, Judd's answer would be? Judd? Security, yeah. So based on, do you believe that the the elections are are safe and secure? Yes, I think he he's going to say they're safe. All right, so right. here's here's Judd. Uh, yes, absolutely. I will accept the uh, result of this election, uh, regardless of the outcome. And I echo what uh, Representative Wilson said: um, elections are safe and secure here in South Carolina. Our very own head of the elections a uh, commission mentioned in Aiken earlier this year that it was very low instances of fraud and he mentioned single digits and most of those occurred in really small local races where one or two votes makes the difference. I saw earlier today where we had over 40,000 people early vote in this election. So please go out and vote. Early voting is still open and yes, you can rest assured your vote will count. This election. And I agree. Mm-hmm. I, being a poll worker, I I know how well we work at the uh, the election, so I, I have no fear that there's going to be you know because we scrutinize every single individual that comes in there. You look at the license, you ask them to repeat their address, they repeat it correctly. You know, you're getting a ballot. Yeah. As far as Joe Wilson, mm-hmm. uh, here's here was his answer to the same question. I need to hear this. Well, I'm, I'm very pleased. In fact, I voted today. 
Uh, and gosh, I, I have been an election commissioner here. I was vice chairman of the commission of Lexington County. I helped draw the precinct lines. I was an election uh, oh, poll manager uh, in the yeah, city exactly. of Charleston. I have uh, worked in elections all my life, but we have secure elections today. I was so thrilled to see that they actually took our fingerprint. They had a signature. Uh, they Not true. Us, uh, took your ballot. fucking fingerprint. Uh, they didn't take our fingerprint. I they, don't know why he's making that up. Would they have taken his because he's an elected official? Might have been. I don't think so. Maybe it's different for them. I highly doubt it. That feels like a fucking thing not to lie about. Especially during the debate. Yeah, his nobody nobody fingerprints you for an election. That's, even, even I'm not here in the United official. States. No, no, that doesn't make sense. You're you're exactly the same. We as need anybody to ask else. Judd about that. We we can. Uh, well, I would I, at some point Maybe after we should the call election, call him up and be like, "Hey, right now, yeah, like, would, hey, they, would they hey. fingerprint Judd? Like Judd, would they fingerprint <laughs> Joe Wilson out of anybody else? So he lied about voting, Joe. <laughs> he might he, <laughs> he, he might have lied. He did tell he did tell a little fib. I don't. I, I like, do not believe that he was fingerprinted for the election. So if that's River Bluffs High School's, you know journalistic class or whatever yeah somebody ought to jump on that oh yeah like oh, yeah. fingerprinting I am, I am opening the door right now okay so uh last question this was uh the uh actually i take that back this was the uh this uh, the, so they asked a follow-up if you were asked uh if you are also confident in elections across the country all right so yes, we agree again and that is that um, indeed uh republicans learned lessons from the last cycle yeah because it was wrong now they know how uh, to steal regularities them. in arizona where the election commission extended the voter registration uh, unconstitutionally, violating Article Two of the Constitution. No. And the irregularity in Pennsylvania, where the Democrat Supreme Court extended the ability to receive uh, ballots without Not a true. signature uh, and and without uh, postmark. Uh, and so we have learned a lesson. Cite that for me, mon- honestly. Yeah. The election. So across the country, we have fair elections, and and we truly learned a lesson uh, from uh, 2020. It was horrifying. Oh uh, my gosh! Uh, irregularities that occurred all over the place. No, it wasn't. Hear, hearing him say it again actually like it, it makes my stomach turn. Said because it was horrifying. Nothing, nothing that he said was true. Well, and then half of the audience, yeah, let's say more than half. Yeah, it was probably more than half. Was like fuck yeah, it was robbed, right? Probably. Yeah, and yeah. then you have whoever came for Judd, and then his supporters that are there, like. I, I was I was in shock at at his answer because I'm like I'm like oh that would have been the perfect you lie sir you yeah you're lie. right you're right that would have been that would have been I missed I missed out on that one and you missed the fingerprint God, you should have stood up I, for the fingerprint that's a lie you should have said Barrett, it when I say I can't do a, a debate just and it's if it's Joe Wilson God forbid <laughs> just kidnap me <laughs> okay yeah, hopefully we can get Cunningham Judd Judd had a, <laughs> Judd had a response too just so. wake me up in the trunk like Zach you have to yell what I tell you to. <laughs> that are in charge of, of those elections will yield to uh, the voice of their people uh, yeah. regardless, and I trust that. But I do agree that we do need to check in if there are instances, but I do trust that everyone wants to restore faith in our institutions, and that begins with having a safe and a secure election. Yeah. Well, and he had to say that too because he, he wants to at least – touch on the fact that like i want them to be secure and if yeah. there is something i agree with everyone else if yeah. there truly yeah, yeah, is yeah. something no i mean so you i have think to, he answered that pretty well you have to Correct. you have to at least acknowledge the potential that there might be some voter fraud in fact it, watching msnbc in the mornings like they they had they've had secretaries of states on from some of the some of the different states and whatnot and mm. and the thing they said was yes there is voter fraud it happens but a lot of it's either associated so they uh, one of the claims was that you know, we had the, all of these dead people voting. Well, when they right. went back and checked, these were people that voted early or voted absentee and, and then, and then passed die. away. Yeah. You know, I mean, just because their date of death doesn't, uh, it falls before the I mean, actual during the election pandi- date. Pandemic, yeah. people were dying God, after dude. they voted, yeah. right? Isn't yeah. that insane? That's a great point, dude. How <laughs> m- if there's if there's dead people voting during COVID, <laughs> how many about? you fucking think fucking died of COVID? But they all get checked. Like it's not, you know, yeah, the, it's you, not you're a, able to discern that. Yeah. It's not fucking like <laughs> I'm raising out of the coffin yeah. and going to vote. Like it's not the zombie apocalypse. And it's definitely not people being like it's so easy to steal. Dude, it's you have to ridiculous. go out of your way for a vote to make a dead person. Oh, yeah. Out. You think no. you can give me a, ba- a ballot so I can just do these interviews and just be like, man, what do you, what do yeah, you, we can what get you, you like? Sample. What do you like about such and such? We can get you a sample ballot. Barry, okay, it, cool. As a poll worker. Not the exotic kind, but the one that works. The you don't know what polls. I do on the weekend. Yeah, Barrett, Barrett definitely is a poll worker. <laughs> but if somebody came to vote fucking twice, you would probably be like, 
No, first of all, what if they had you, like a weird mustache? And like what? This? <laughs> That's what I, I hope that happens. No, here's the a fact. And just, uh, the fact glasses. is that the the election Clark, get out our, of here. our <laughs> elections Superman. our elections are secure because we have electronic polling books that are hooked up to uh, specifically to the state through the internet, right? Secure server. They mm. update as soon as you come in there and your card gets scanned and you vote. Man, you can't go somewhere else and vote again. Now you could potentially argue it and get a provisional vote, but in order to get a prov- in order for that provisional vote to actually be cast as a ba- as a ba- as a, a valid ballot, you have to go to the hearing and explain why, despite the evidence that they have that that, that vote is the one that should count. Mm. I mean, it, it's uh, there. There are so many rules. Of, it's not just South Carolina; it's across the country. It's a. Yeah. It's a. Federal government voting rule, right? Yeah. yeah. So the federal government oversees these elections and, and the states also oversee the elections. It's 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 completely secure and it's just nonsense. You know what would make more sense since you said the federal government, if it was FBI agents at every poll place? Man, there are a lot of FBI agents out there. I don't know if there's enough for but that. But then you have state rights over federal rights kind of thing going on, mm. which is to me, I mean, but if everybody sees an FBI agent there, they're like, mm, I don't think I want to do anything like today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I want to do think anything. About it like this. There are states that have like a complete um, abortion ban. Yeah. A bunch of them. And the federal government, on the other hand, is now having to plot and have secret abortion pills, mm-hmm. secret abortion acts yeah. to to still provide like yeah. pills that will provide abortion procedures and stuff for or women just make it safe but yeah. it has to that's the thing like they should no i don't want the federal government to be able to tell every state what yeah. to do because you would have no legal things no of course be. but at the same time you're like fuck this is a basic human right for women to control their bodies and the government the federal government is going like well you know people who are aggressive are in charge right now for the most part and are trying to make back alleys to c- circumvent state things yeah to help. So it's like if you go to, so let's say New Hampshire has a very open abortion thing. Now the federal government will help pay to get you there to get an abortion. Cool. Yeah. Because it's like signs in downtown Columbia saying, hey, you want an abortion? Right. Um, California can help, basically. Yeah. So California is basically flying you out to get your abortion. Right. And, you know. Shit like that. Like, yeah. Should never have to come to that. No. No one should have to, like, say you can't miss your work, but you're pregnant as fuck. You probably can't have the baby to begin with. You can't fly out to fucking California for it. You might get help, but you're missing time. Definitely missing some time. Yeah, there's some absurdity. I tell you what, we'll hit on the abortion topic after the break because uh, I got one. I have one highlight from it. Save your topic because I got one topic, Well, it's not. It's it's on that. It's Jon Stewart's new show or newer show on Apple TV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's exactly about the. he The trans. No. Well, that one was awesome. Yeah. But he grills a guy about who who who's a lawyer going against the vo- voter fraud and saying there was voter fraud. Oh yeah yeah, yeah. John, Arizona yeah yeah. And John Stewart crucifies him within like a minute and a half. Yeah he wouldn't because he wouldn't he wouldn't just he would not just say no that the, the election was fair and secure. And, I think that's very apropos. Yeah. So I think we should play that clip. Okay. Yeah, we'll find it. All right. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. This is the All About Nothing podcast. All right, nothingers. I want to cue you in about a friend of the pod, Blank Canvas Brand. If you own a business or restaurant and the time has come to build that unique brand, you have got to get a hold of Blank Canvas Brand. Blank Canvas Brand specializes in brand identity, including logos, business cards, flyers, and anything else to promote your business. And now, Blank Canvas Brand offers printing services to help with your clothing needs, including sports teams. I can tell you from our own experience, Blank Canvas Brand is responsible for our logo as well as the bowl of duty bowling team logo and we couldn't be happier with what's been produced for more information you can search facebook for blank canvas or you can email blank canvas at the allaboutnothing.com that's b-l-n-k-c-a-n-v-s at the allaboutnothing.com you can find links in the friends of the pod section of our website visit the allaboutnothing.com Hey everyone, I want to take a quick moment to mention one of our new sponsors, ThePaintedMoment.com. That's ThePaintedMoment.com. Check this out. Have you ever taken a photo with your phone or digital camera that would look amazing as a watercolor canvas painting? Well, now there's a website ready to take your photo and turn it into digital painted moments. This is how it works. Visit ThePaintedMoment.com, follow the instructions, and your digital photo will be enhanced and returned to you with links on where you can have an image printed to canvas or whatever else you'd like to do with it. We've already got a couple of these enhanced photos hanging around the house, and trust me, you'll love what comes out. ThePaintedMoment.com. Create a painted moment in time from your digital photos. ThePaintedMoment.com. Seriously, check them out today. ThePaintedMoment.com. What is a vaccine? What is a virus? What is a mask? 
What's a Sasquatch? These are all valid questions, and to answer them in one breath, prevention, potentially deadly, potentially life-saving, and don't be stupid. Look, the coronavirus from 2019 has caused a global pandemic that continues to ravage our planet, leaving victims and survivors. But you can do your part. In the United States, as well as most countries around the world, the COVID-19 vaccine is available at little to no cost. Regardless of your politics, this virus has the potential to cause irreparable harm to you and vulnerable family members and friends. We have an opportunity through the efforts of medical science to balance the scales against this disease and its variants. And look, I don't understand how the vaccine works, even though I've heard it described countless times by countless experts. And even though none of that makes any sense to me, I do recognize that the money and effort spent on the vaccine has not been wasted. And it's not a global positioning transmitter being embedded in your arm. You're holding that in your hand, listening to this. So get the vaccine. Protect yourself. Protect your loved ones. Hell, protect the guy standing behind you waiting on his Taco Supreme and nacho fries. Let that be the reason his organs shut down. For more information, visit covid19.nih.gov for actual science information. We have to thank our sponsor, GOT Sound Studio, and its owner and operator, Dominique Stewart, better known as Neek the Geek. GOT Sound Studios offers a variety of recording experiences from music, voice, and instrumental recordings and production, as well as podcasts. GOT Sound Studio is located in Columbia, South Carolina, and operated by the most talented producer and engineer in the business. GOT Sound Studio is a black-owned business. Bring your recording business needs here. You can find details on their Facebook page or by calling 803 803- 243-2302 or emailing GOT Sounds at the allaboutnothing.com. That's GOT Sounds at the allaboutnothing.com. You can find links in the friends of the pod section of our website. Visit the allaboutnothing.com. This is Justin Osborne from Susto, and you're listening to the All About Nothing Podcast. Show them who's boss with your smoker's car. I mean, with us. Yeah. Justin Osborne, like Susto. Zach, you have some, some news for us about Justin? Yeah, Justin is coming to Columbia in December for a Sequoia Prep School reunion show. Yeah. Which is awesome. Big. So the first night that they were doing it on Friday sold out like as soon as the tickets went live. Yeah. Second night, by now, maybe probably sold out. So well, what tickets you got? I got my two. You've been to New Brooklyn. That's where it's I'm at. saying, where did you get it? So, like, which, which night you going? NewBrooklyn.com, Saturday. I had to get the second. You get Saturday. So it's a reunion show, mm-hmm. uh, and, and nothing against Justin because I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I, but like, why New Brooklyn? Uh, he already it's told where us, all it, the bands go. It's the capital for, of Columbia of Ted. But it isn't. It is. Who, it where is. are you going to go so to the Senate? Yeah, the Senate and the it, farm. No, no. It, music you, farm. You, Carolina Coliseum. He, you think he's going to have a big enough crowd uh, to, for the Carolina or or, or or something. Just something bigger than, than how have, many people How many people fit comfortably. Kenny Chesney is the only person that can sell out Williams Bryce. <laughs> like, no, Oprah no problem. Sold out, Oprah sold out Williams yeah, I Bryce. I mean, you're right. It's <laughs> Oprah. Let's not disrespect Oprah here. I mean, she's already dragging along that 44th president. Definitely didn't even sing a song. <laughs> didn't the Red Hot Chili Peppers play at Williams Rice? I think so. Maybe. I think they did. Maybe. Maybe. Well, but but that's what I'm saying. Like, how many people? He's not is that new, big though. New, I don't think he's that big. Just Sequoia yet. Prep School is the like the aughts of the 2000s. Mm-hmm. That is that is like uh, like high school music. And it's like nostalgia. Frog. Yeah. For like a lot of. So I feel like we're deflecting. How many people does New Brooklyn Tavern hold? It's not going to hold a lot. Uh, would you say, hold a lot. Like would you say 100? Maybe 100. Maybe. That just seems really small for something that hasn't happened in what? 10 but, years? But Barrett. This the is reunion? Where, this is where yeah. You, this no, is no, where no. Just, it happened in like This is where he gets you at. Oh, is it on How much per ticket? I think it was like seven bucks. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Are you kidding? Add me? that up. <laughs> Thirty-five. Add that dollars. up. Thirty-five per head. Yeah. And it's not. And it's sold out two nights. And it's not insane. the same stop either. So like you know. Yeah. He's come got on, some Barry. You know what time shit. it is. He, no. he he's getting the small crowds and making them pay my, to see me. My, Why not? My, it's it's more the intimate shows are better than the big shows. I'm not saying Barry, they're it's not, not seven dollars. <laughs> I thought he was paying ten dollars. It's, like, it's for there. sure thirty. <laughs> Look, I remember. I remember open mic night. You only had to buy two drinks. Barry, so. This is an open mic night. This is the Sequoia Prep School. It's a, and you know who you knew who they were yeah, like in the yeah. high school. I heard all about them, but yeah. I just never knew who the fuck they were. If someone's like, "Oh, have you heard Justin Osborne Susto?" Like a lot of people, 
it's maybe like, you know, 75, 25. What's crazy? Hours. Jade told me about him. Yeah, Jade knows for sure. Jade knows. Yeah. Him. Well, I, it, 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 that's South Carolina's like local band yeah. in the state. Facts. Villanova. Even bigger. No. <laughs> Even bigger than like. Or I guess they're Smith BC school. Villanova now. <laughs> Aren't they? They're BC Villanova now because there's an actual real band called Villanova. I or mean, something. I guess, man. I don't know. Like, yeah, you and Justin both. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot we asked him about that. Oh, did you? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Villanova. You did. Yeah. yeah. He was on the other one. He said he don't even remember the interview. Fake ass <laughs> it was during the pandemic, though. <laughs> but true. my my plan is uh, I uh, I'm gonna work on talking to him and yeah, how hard he picks up the phone when you call. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to see if maybe he wants to come in. Bring we'll the whole band in. That'd be we awesome. want to interview all of them. Oh, we, could, the, we could easily set them up outside and, and record that. We would yeah. need, no, not outside. The hotel gets no no free show. No, no, no. We can set it off looking at the road. I mean, whatever. We can get JB to come in here and That'd film That would be really it. cool to have all of Sequoia Prep School in and just ask some good interview questions. Yeah, they can pass a mic around. Yeah, that'd be have great. Have a couple pints. Yeah, yeah. That, that would work. All right. Uh, so uh, moving back to uh, this was the second question that I thought was apropos. Markets. Abortion access across the country has been uneven since the United States Supreme Court overturned its 1973 Roe v. Wade rule. Uneven seems like an odd way of saying that. With state legislatures moving quickly to curb access to the procedure, would you support U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham's proposed federal ban on abortion? Why or why not? Fuck I'm, no. I'm going to give you two. I'm going to give you two opportunities. I just want to, you to play to Wilson. Uh, please play Wilson's first. You want to play? No, 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 I need to hear Wilson's first. We know what Judd's going to say. That's what I'm saying. That's I need to hear Wilson. Give us the taste. Judd's going to say. Judd's going to say. Fuck no. And the most palatial. No, I would not. Along with the majority of Americans, I believe we need to actually reinstate Roe v. Wade based on the current medical standard of viability. Just that quick. That's all you had to say. Perfect fact-filled answer. How long do you think Joe's answer was? 30 minutes. <laughs> no, not 30, but good. <laughs> Absolutely. It yeah. felt it felt this like is 30. Why, yeah, I know. It he he, like he reined that bitch out. He had he had a, he had to slow trot this motherfucker. He like, look, I understand what Mr. Graham is trying to do, but that's what he should have said. <laughs> like, first of uh, here, I'm just gonna play yeah, Joe play it, play Joe, it. Joe Joe Wilson the first. Bullshit. Uh, but there's been a radicalization of the Democratic Party. To me, it's very sad. Uh, they have moved uh, from a position that uh, President Biden had. He did not uh, answer the he question. Was against abortion. He now, and the, every member of the Democrat member of the House actually <laughs> voted for uh, late term abortion. No, they did not. Uh, late term abortion means infanticide. We're asking they, about they, you, they, sir. They, not everybody else. They, they that is a made up word, right? Yeah, That's yeah, not a real word. No. It, it, uh, it is made. It it's is in the Bible. Yeah, King Herod committed infanticide. Uh, so yeah. Yes. Okay, fair and enough. And they also uh, respect uh, uh, in terms of um, rape, incest, and, and life of the mother. And so a uh, majority do favor limitations. Joe Wilson, Christian man, huh? <laughs> God committed infanticide against the firstborns of Egypt. Look, basically the first... The, 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 God allowed all the children of, uh, in King Herod's in Jerusalem to be killed. There are so many instances in the Old Testament that are basically an instruction manual on how to children. commit an abortion. How to rape and make an unwanted baby, and then yeah. how that you can kill them as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I'm sick so of it. He, uh, they, did, they did have to actually ask him a follow-up. Uh, uh, they had to ask Joe a follow up on that. <laughs> one. Yeah. that. Do you believe the 2020 election would oh. result? My bad. That was that was a different one. This was this was. They had to ask again. Do you actually believe the 2020 election was valid? And Joe said yes. Joe did. So Joe, Joe did never it. answered the question. He didn't. He, not really. Uh, he never said yes. I agree with. Uh, I don't. <laughs> let me let me check. Let's see. He didn't. He no, did I've not. never heard it. Every other country on earth except North Korea. Okay, so no, he did not answer. He did no. not say that he would go along with Lindsey. Here's the thing that really irritates me about that. But he they, will. The Republicans literally put the people in place to overturn Roe versus Wade so that it would send it back to the states. And then when you had states like Kansas say, no, <laughs> the pe- there was a referendum. The people said, no, we, we still want our rights for abortion. You know, the women's health is important. And uh, and then Lindsey Graham comes along and is like, oh, fuck it. We're just gonna we're gonna work on getting a state law. I mean, a, a national federal law, law, federal law to to undermine uh, the states. Now. But you can't now. You, you 
Because it's state law, right? Well, so the state law supersedes the federal law. That is apparently. that is correct. That's so kind of like marijuana. That's how you get marijuana legalized in some states versus that's, what... That's literally having you, trying to have your cake and eat it, too. That's, just real quick, do you know how many people uh, got released from jail when uh, President Biden uh, actually... 2,000-something. It was, well, it was 6,000-some-odd records that what were expunged. Yeah, but do you know how many people were actually released from prison I for that? I thought it was 2,000. Zero. Not a single person, because none of them were in jail for, for simple possession for federal crime. Yeah, there was other things on top of that. Yeah, yeah. You need distribution like yeah. mass, mass yeah. yeah but th- so it was it was i while while i definitely recognized that it was a step in the right direction it was he didn't do a motherfucking thing no it, did, it wasn't a single <laughs> thing that was done with people that. did trip about it too and i'm going like what is it actually doing yeah it was so now it, that i know it didn't release 2000 no, people there weren't there wasn't a single person released because if if they were in there for simple possession some of them were in there for other things and that's and horrible just you know, just so you knock a few. He's like, "Yes, it was murder, but I was doing it for the weed." Yeah, I just it, I it, was selling weed, but I had a gun on me. It wasn't registered, <laughs> right? That, that's that, how you that, usually how that, it happens. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah, God damn, that's an entanglement and all. Thing. Yeah, man, ain't it? Ain't it? If he just would, if the weed would have been legal, he wouldn't have had the gun. Hey, I forgot to say, uh, happy Halloween. This episode drops on Halloween. Wow. This wow. is Halloween. This I did. I just Halloween. got booked another one for uh, not another. Well, Boo at the Zoo went great. I got to show you all the footage. Yeah. Uh, I got, definitely got to show you all the footage. I'm going on Sunday. You going on Sunday? Buy your ticket now. Already got it. Okay, cool. We, uh, um, we're we going to the uh, Firefly Stadium tomorrow night for the. Oh yeah, they're uh, doing that too. Yep. Yeah, for the big uh, trick or treat. That's for Poo kids at the Zoo, right? <laughs> <laughs> Poo at the Zoo. That's what they, that do the, do, they do have the, like, the dog walking thing. If I'm yeah, yeah. On Wednesday, on the Wednesdays, you can take uh, it's Wolf at the Wolf. Yeah, it's a Wolf Wednesdays or whatever. At yeah. the zoo or the ballpark? No, at the ballpark. ballpark. Yeah. yeah, people be like, I never liked the song Tigers. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah. They would not <laughs> let a bell. Hell no. I'd watch that. Go no. to the bird thing where you can like have the birds laying on you and eat out of the cup at the zoo. Yeah, some dogs is gonna be in there like. Cum, cum. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did get booked for by another gig. Um, Dave's been helping me out, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, party time. Shout out to Party Time and yeah. them and everybody working out for them. Uh, the other company that booked me is uh, Powerhouse Entertainment Group. They cool. Just booked me for a DJ gig that will happen Saturday night. Where at? In Columbia. Are you allowed to tell us where? You know, like, oh, it's a private party. It, this won't release till so Monday, he, so nobody's gonna know. So I don't, how did I, it go? Um, oh. <laughs> can we be your VIPs? You can, you can set, you can set my shit up. Yeah, I'm definitely. not, I'm not going on. <laughs> Sure, I'll not leaving definitely the house. bring like one speaker in and be like, I need something to drink. I got <laughs> that's usually how it's gonna go. <laughs> I tried to show up at the one event and uh and help him bring stuff in, but I he already I, I, yeah, you know what? You were already to in be there, fair, I, I owe Trent from all the shows we played, he would carry my like some of my shit. Bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> Always had the heaviest. Oh, don't speaker. worry, he can come in, he's with the white boy. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker, he the, with me. So, I'm helping his bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> so my my intention with it being Halloween was one of the things I want to talk about was because with Halloween you have uh, occults and things like that and I wanted to talk right. about some of the occults and uh, you said something that was that I I've I have uh, quoted several times that what what is the difference between a cult and uh, a Christianity or a, a cult and a religion yeah it's two thousand years a few thousand years yeah, yeah. which is crazy I've, yeah, that's true that's, that's really good look at look at this hey don't say this now you're, you're, it, y'all gonna get canceled you know what I'm saying <laughs> think <laughs> we of Mormonism. just see what just happened okay <laughs> next week all, next week the all about nothing podcast with Trent Clark yeah just me well, I'll, tell, <laughs> I'll tell you right now think of Mormonism nobody but Mormons take Mormonism seriously yeah uh, no Christians nobody else they're like Bro, we have records that he lied like all the time, committed but perjury. It ain't even yeah. that. Don't show up to my house. Yeah. yeah I yeah, think that's, that's their biggest problem in their religion. Jehovah's Just Witness let them too. come to you. Don't send them to people's <laughs> houses. Dude, when, when, if a Jehovah's Witness ever knocks on your door, be like, I love my fucking Have you ever been to like a co- apartment complex like in the hood and, and, and you've seen like them living there? Mm-hmm. They live together. They dress. A, they dress alike. Mm-hmm. They they Their they go to the gym. They go to the gym the at same. the same time. Are you talking about the Mormons or the Jehovah's the Morm- Witness? Well, I think it's the Mormons because the ones with the, the black ties. and white suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They white everything they do. To, they do it together. They know, but it's like a buddy system. I'll tell you. It's let, almost kind of crazy. Let me tell you this little story. They work out, Barrett. In, almost kind of crazy. Well, it's because they work out in their suits. No, are you kidding me? I swear to God. Oh, that's, oh, you're going to be riding the bike in it, so mission. you might as well They're get ready. Mission. That's interesting. So yeah. well, I, my dad, when he I mean. had, my dad was living with my mom and uh, when he had dementia and it was getting pretty bad. Mm. And these two Mormon kids, and here's what's fucked up. They're not even 18 years old, right? Nah, they're they're like 16, young. 17, yeah. shit like that. 
and they come up to the door. My dad answers the door, and I'm I'm at the house, but I, I must have been using the bathroom or something. And I get up and I find my dad talking to these Mormons, and you can look on his face that he's confused. And I just wanted to fucking fight both of them. <laughs> and I'm like, you're knocking on this fucking door. I was like, he has dementia. I was like, and you're sitting here peddling your shit. I was so fucking angry. Because <laughs> well, hey, you know the funniest part about that is they actually do pedal. <laughs> Yeah, so you describe that situation. We had, I had, uh, I believe. Well, I, let me finish it. Oh, right. he's, he's pissed. No, let him get I, it out. I was fucking angry. I was like, "You two go fuck yourself on your bicycle and get the fuck out of here." <laughs> and I, after I had calmed down, and I made sure my dad was okay because they're they're talking to him. And yeah, he, absolutely. He has he. Because my dad was a Christian man, and Correct. and I respect that, and that's what he wanted to do. But he had dementia, so he was confused as to what they're telling him. And you could see that he's almost about to cry because he doesn't understand yeah. what they're like the confliction mm, of it. Dementia yeah. just messes with emotions, all that. Oh yeah, gotcha. and so I'm just like, I, out of all the things, like uh, I don't <laughs> you want, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so after they did that, and they didn't show up with food. Oh, no, I, I think they I'll, they're not Baptists. I think my my bro, I think my brother came over and I was like, I can't believe these fucking Mormons. He's like, oh, they're still down the street. And I was and like, that, oh, and that how they, they get they you are. in the door? Is the is the the Baptist will show up with food? Hell yeah! <laughs> well, I drove I drove down the I was leaving and drove down the street and they were still there and so I stopped my car and I rolled down the window. I was like, you flicked them off. No, I, I literally was like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was an asshole to you guys. I was like, he's an I, asshole to him. I did, I, and I and I was like, that I, confused and them. Th- they were like. It's okay, sir. Yeah, that's fine. Because they get it all the time. You don't yeah. understand. <laughs> oh. These kids are like, they grow up and they know what cussing out is. They like, no, no. My neighbor across the street, happens. Bernie, my, Bernard, he will, he will literally pull the fire. He'll, he'll pull the hose out and he'll start spraying like, <laughs> yeah. like, like out of She Hulk, like, like when the, like he's spraying the reporters. Yeah, that's horrible. Well, but he doesn't spray them. He just sprays in Around. front of them. Like, <laughs> and it's like, like, you will get hit. Because <laughs> we have, a, we have an alert system in my neighborhood. Yeah. Like the first person that gets hit, they send a mass Mad- Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. So we know. Oh, we got a nice listener well, too. The well, Facebook group. Here's the thing that blew my mind. <laughs> when I, when I went the Facebook up to them, group. Come on, man. I was you like, "Are y'all going to be back around in this area?" And they're like, "Yeah." And I was like, "I'm going to bring a book for you guys if you don't mind." And I can't remember what book. Did I you bring them the atheist book? No, it wasn't an atheist. But I, I, it was, is there a book, an atheist Bible? I don't think there is. No, there's no. a bunch of books that do like here's how you think. Mm. Basically, yeah, to um, be atheist, right? Well, no, no just it, to judge, test think your for yourself. Sides. Think critical thinking. They they were like, "Well, we can't do that," and I was like, "I." Oh, I they can't accept anything. I said, "So you can't have a book." He goes, "We're only allowed to read the uh, Book of Mormon," and I was like, "So you like if I brought you both the same book and you wanted to read it," and they were like, "Yeah, we're not allowed to do that." I was like, "Is that not a red flag?" And these are two like yeah. 17, 18 year old kids. Well, I'm one of the people that think under the assumption like. Like Mormon is gonna be kind of like it'll be like a Scientology documentary on Mormon soon. But like, I think it's gonna come. No, I think eventually it's gonna come out where, yeah. where something fucked up happened to these kids and Mormons, for them oh, to be Mo- like Mormons already do that, dude. Do, do, you got, yeah. do, sister wives. Yeah, I watched that show uh, yeah. and 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 gay 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 uh, transformation camps. Yeah, all yeah, they yeah. do that shit too. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, well that, but the thing is, is like I, what I brought to their attention, and I think it sunk in a little bit. I was like, is that not a red flag for you guys that the thing you always were with when you grew up? Mm. Tells you you're right and says you can do this, but you can't go anywhere else for any kind of knowledge. Why yeah. would your God allow the creation of all of this other knowledge and then say no, you can't have it? Like because I, that's basically the very first the 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 yeah. first thing about Genesis and, and the Garden of Eden is the the humans the, the us being kicked out of Eden yeah. because of the, the seeking apple. of knowledge. Well, and then they had to edit in the 90s the Book of Mormon because black people were fucking cursed. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why your skin start trans. That's crazy. That's crazy that they took it there. And the other thing, if you want to quickly get a Mormon away from you, and I've done this too, coincidentally, they come wherever my mom lives apparently, you can tell them, I want to be the god of my own universe, so how do I do that? Yeah. And, they'll, and they'll be like, well, and I'm like, don't lie to me, it's in there. And they're like, Yes, I have. I they kind of just eventually mm. quickly start stepping away. They're like, "Oh, this guy's just power hungry." I have oh. Mormon friends that uh, outside of church, you know, because like like we would go to the Greek festival or we go to a, a game or whatever, you know, and they're not supposed to drink coffee, they're not supposed to drink uh, alcohol, that sort of thing. Caffeine. Yeah. Uh, they would so we'd go camping and things like that, and I don't want to use any names, but uh, they'd get like they'd get drunk, like and and and, and we all would like we would just have a good time when right. but drinking alcohol, going to events and stuff around town, we drink and so alcohol is illegal. It's 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 frowned upon oh. by the Mormon Church. 
Uh, yeah, like, and I, I want to make it abundantly clear that I don't hate Mormons. They're some of the nicest people you, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you no, ever no. meet. No, but just if, those two Mormons, just you but, hate it. Well, if you're coming to my door to peddle your shit, correct, correct. If you if you if you're coming to my door to peddle your shit, then yeah. please stop saying peddle your shit. When they're pulling up on bikes. <laughs> They're pulling up on bikes. You, you gotta stop saying pedal. Yeah. pedal. <laughs> different, different pedal. <laughs> but if you're, if you're doing that, you have to you have to take it too, right? Like yeah, yeah. So you have to confront your sides. Yeah, you definitely that, do. They don't know how to deal with that. Well, so my Mormon story, the the one that stands out the most, uh, when uh, before I was married the first time, uh, to my, a Mormon? No, I had a I had a roommate, uh, Al, Al, Allen, Weird Al. Uh, he, uh, he, uh, he was gay and, uh, but what was really, so the Mormons showed up and at the time I was in the process of becoming Catholic because my, my fiance at the time that we wanted to get married in the Catholic church. And, uh, so, uh, they showed up at the door and I didn't turn them away immediately, but Alan was at his computer just adjacent to where I was standing. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and Alan was, uh, he, he, he tended to, to hang around the house without a shirt on and he would just wear a sarong, which is basically just like a, a dry, not yeah, what, a dress, what is but a, a, sarong? a sarong. It's uh it's a very light, kind of like a skirt that men like wear. Like a kilt. Kind of, but it's, it's almost like it's a sheet. Uh, and, and I am not, def- I'm not describing it correctly. Uh, but, sarong. but he's. We called him Big Gay Al. Anyway, so Al, uh, Alan, Al. Yeah. So basically, he was just walking around the house, just swinging. He did better. He did better than that because hey, I was. What do you mean? He did I was in a. I was in a good ten minute conversation with these two Mormons that showed up at the house, and uh, when Alan got tired of hearing on it, he he walked over, opened the door wide, put his arm on his shoulder, and said, "We got plenty of God here." <laughs> Put his arm on your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And and and, and like this is when we leave. And which daddy close the door, put the ball gag. Here. And like <laughs> it was, it was the, it was the only way I think that he thought we could get out of this conversation was. Did they? And leave? it worked. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> they backed off the porch quicker than R.J. May. Uh, I think the biggest one I do if they ever, they, they, I mean, my new house, they haven't done it yet, but they might now that they know they don't. I don't like now they know where you live? Yeah. Well, they don't know where I live. <laughs> Jesus Christ, maybe. But, I, but like, you just go like, I can't believe you do this. And you just close the door. Yeah. Like, at, because you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, but they need to kind of like a, like, you would hope. You're yeah. knocking on my door. But it's, you're not going to be, they figured a hundred no's equals one yes. Potentially, I could see that. I had a I had a Jehovah's Witness go like, oh, "How the hell do you think electricity works? That's God right there." And I was like, oh. "Jesus Christ, Mister! It sounds like you didn't even try." <laughs> <laughs> you gave up on the onset of that one. <laughs> I feel bad for Jehovah's Witness because they show up in not just like the 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 um like short sleeve white yeah. dress shirt. Correct. They wear the fucking the jacket, the mm-hmm. shoes. Yep. They might drive like an Escalade to get there, but correct. Keep them outside, sweat, make them sweat it out. You make them sweat. They're not. They're not. <laughs> they're one of the more high profile, I guess, occults that I I, I the imagine. Tower yeah, or but there are there are some other ones that are real, real dark. Like um, there's this Church of the God of Restoration in Ohio, and it's run by a guy named Ray Tensman. And uh, to listen to him speak, if if you haven't looked it up, just look it up on YouTube or whatever. But like. He says, like, he assumes that he and his 12 uh, deacons or whatever, he call, he believes that that he is the Jesus Christ. Like, he uh, is the epitome. Yeah. He is he is the, the, the new version. And that he's got his 12 disciples. Uh, I mean, he says things like, lay down your, you know, lay down your woes and whatnot and follow me. Mm-hmm. Like, do you think one day he would look around and be like, man, I got 12 friends. <laughs> <laughs> I am him. You know what? <laughs> but I bet they ride or die too. I bet, <laughs> I, bet I can feed them all with a fish. But like, <laughs> He's just a it's not a it's not a huge church. It's it's not it's not enormous. I mean, they've got they've got a lot of members and and there's money coming into it. But like, I guess my question is is like, do you get does someone like Ray Tensman get involved in something like this or start something like this or you know whatever because he feels like the actual need to lead or is it is it because at the end it's, of this you always almost always find that there's some sort of money involved like there's they're 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 either stealing or they're they're uh, or the money isn't going to where they say it's going yeah well it, it leads down the reason he can think it he probably does believe it right but then there's a burden of proof you can't you can't say he's not jesus right um because because think if you think there, about you it like it, it, 
if Jesus, if nobody took Jesus seriously. They literally crucified him. I, I, I still have to. Yeah, but Jesus was, you know, if you believe everything that Christianity and the Bible say, you know, he was he was committing miracles, like literally. He would. What's he against would, the law? No, well, no, no, but but no, I, don't, but I haven't because, seen a Ray Tensman YouTube video where he's healed, you know, broken bones Jesus or brought somebody crucif- back from the dead. Jesus was crucified because not necessarily did he claim he was the son of God. He claimed everybody was, but the... Everyone Jew- else was claiming it. Yes. But yeah. you're saying you've seen him heal people with broken no, bones? No, I have not seen that. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Oh. I haven't I haven't seen him do anything Jesus He has like. not. <laughs> so, <laughs> he hasn't, so he hasn't walked on water yet? No, no. Oh, okay, I, cool. I highly doubt it. Uh, hey, once he does, though, once you get that water walking thing, then everything else can happen. <laughs> yeah, and we're talking like Chris Angel gets to come out and see if you're actually doing that. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's out there with a tape. Yeah, measure. okay, yeah. you got it. Yeah. <laughs> David like, Blaine? I, I sway in my arm. <laughs> yeah, David Blaine. <laughs> Magicians, dude. So another occult. Uh, I, I got, got a magician. Oh right, my go god, on. this would be uh, crazy. The Church of the Metal Rod. The they, Church of the Metal Rod. This one I've not ever heard of. They worship their assault rifles and they dress in like Catholic type garb and worship go to church with their assault rifles and shit. Mm. Church of the Iron Rod. I think it's a Church of the Devil in Mexico, if I'm not mistaken too. Really? Yeah, that's probably a big one too. And funny enough, I mean th- those dudes I, literally worship their assault rifles. It's mm. the weirdest thing you've ever seen. And they, and they wear like bullet thorn crowns. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. So uh, check them out. MAGA. I, I have to I have to acknowledge that I think that the true QAnon MAGA crowd is a grouping of an occult. They are. It, uh, it's definitely a cult. And they also got the Church of Satan, which yeah. was started up that's in not, That's actually that's a legitimate a church, that's, though. That's, yeah, well, that's well, not a, that's, an organization. Yeah. The, well, so what they do is they're basically the antagonist. So when a religious group wants like prayer somewhere or the Ten Commandments in front of the Arkansas courthouse. They show up. They're the group that shows up and goes, oh, well, we're Satanists, but we're a religious organization. Mm. If and you they, look at their decree, it's absolutely everything you would agree with, and it, it is not about worshiping Satan. No. Wow. Yeah, they, they don't. They don't. Founded in 1966. Temple. Yeah, they've been around for a little while. Them, yeah. Almost around mm. as long as yeah, legal. This is, well, I think that's the same one. Uh, let me see who the leader is. Yeah, they they've they've been around almost as long as abortion. No, this is was. the one with Anton LaVey. Oh, that's not that's not the real one. No, there is a Church of Satan that actually yeah. does, and you know they do. That's show Anton up. LaVey. He has a daughter. That's I think they actually did believe in Satan, mm. which is pretty ridiculous. Well, if you're going to believe in Jesus Christ, you got to believe in Satan. <laughs> well, Satan like, Klee. Yeah. Well, you if you're reading the Bible, because. Satan's in a Bible. Yeah, but then the, then comes the contradictions, and that's when people go like la 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 la. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I I fully believe that the uh, the true QAnon MAGA believers are a member of a cult because they 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 do the same thing. You ask someone who the leader of QAnon is, they're like, "Oh, we can't tell you." Well, Bear, we got some pushback. Uh oh. Can I segue you into something? Please. All right. Wait, man. we got pushback. Oh, we got some pushback, man. Is somebody listening to this? Yeah, the, the Satanic Temple is the one we're. Ah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So, New York Supreme Court reinstates all employees for being fired for being unvaccinated in order to pay back all the workers. So, so New York State is going to they're going to pay the workers correct for the time that they had been fired. Good. Yes. I mean, I'm I'm look. I mm. I don't I don't necessarily agree. Because it says right here, being vaccinated does not prevent an individual from contracting or transmitting COVID nineteen. That's that is true. It prevents you from being sick and missing work. Correct. So, but and again, but I, they I, have work sick in sick days. Like. I have to. I have to. <laughs> you probably I, if you get COVID, you're gonna. If you work at a doctor's office, you don't have sick days. You definitely shouldn't be working there. <laughs> I, I have to. I have to stress though, when when vaccines were being. Uh, that when that was the thing, when right. when you had companies and things like that enforcing, pay, saying you can't come back to work unless you mm-hmm. get a vaccine, that was purely their choice. Yeah, thanks. and I and I agree with it. Correct. Uh, but I also recognize that the science wasn't completely in on what the vaccines were going to do. Correct. So you know the vaccines weren't going to prevent you from getting sick. Mm-hmm. They weren't going to prevent you from exposing other people to your sickness. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they were going to prevent you from dying mm-hmm. or, or for the most part, 99% of people who get the vaccines were not going to die. And I'm, I'm going to get my booster here in the next few weeks yeah. because I, I, I don't, I don't want it. I'm, 
I am of the demographic where COVID could potentially harm me worse Correct. than than others, and I I prefer to take certain a, age range. Yeah, age ranges. Yes. Well, thank, and the, thank but you. the thing that kills me now is like people have made vaccines that work, like have eradicated polio, and polio is coming right. back. Things like that, smallpox. It's like now you go, you can go to the doctor, and, and they'll be like, "Well, do you want your kid to get? Do you want them to have a, a, a flu, mm, shot, right? A flu vaccine, right?" And then people will be like, "Fuck no, vaccine." When in general, then you can't go ahead and ask them like, "Do you recommend that?" Right? Because then they're not going to want to like stir any. It shouldn't be politicized. Yeah. yeah, it's a fact. If it's a fact, it's a fact. Yeah. Things are facts, and people don't like things that are facts when you think about it. <laughs> they they don't, facts. dude. And that, that just blows my mind. Flat earthers. Yeah. Uh, dude, don't this, talk about Kyrie like that. Dude, dude <laughs> this is how good, this is how smart. So and this, is, this has been a while, but like a flat earther wanted to prove the earth is flat. So what did this dumb motherfucker do? Took a level on an airplane. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Do, do airplanes fly around the earth like this? <laughs> Dumbass. And and honestly, as soon as they, I mean, you you don't have to. As soon as the plane gets to the, <laughs> to the, the maximum height, you you see the you I, see. I, the I, I, I can see what he was trying to do. No, you can't. No, you can't. You guys didn't like riding like ninety degrees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because and then you do this, planes, and then you do this. <laughs> planes fly so much more efficiently when their wings like, are out like this, know, and they're yeah, doing this. More surface area makes you go faster. <laughs> yeah, knows yeah, that. yeah, it prevents you from falling. Planes always fly flat. Come That's on, man. I know that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, I guess, uh, I, I don't, I don't really have anything else. I, uh, I mean, I think it was pretty good. And we, we discussed some cults. Yeah. Uh, Waco. Yeah, oh, wait. Yeah, for sure. That was a cult. And that's no different than the guy who's claiming he, he was, he's Jesus. Yeah. Correct. If someone wants to have sex David with Koresh, a, more than one woman at a time, you need to really start looking into what's happening right there. Who's I, your, uh, favorite, um, Halloween, um, favorite Halloween, uh, um, like, um, villain, villain. Who, who's your I would say Michael Myers. So good. I think I think Michael Myers is probably my favorite. I think he might be my weakest one. Really? Yeah. I um, like Jason oh, Voorhees. Yeah, I like Jason because Jason usually, if 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 he sees two people like sleeping together in the camper bed, he just pick up the whole camper okay. bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to slam them down. Yeah. A whole bunch of <laughs> yeah. But you also have to acknowledge he has a very specific group of people that he wants dead. Well, yeah, everybody that is fucking Crystal camp. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep coming yeah, back yeah. to my camp. I keep telling y'all I'm gonna kill y'all if you keep coming back. You keep coming. I will, I will yeah. say one of my favorite movies was Freddy his versus mother, Jason. His mother's the bad guy. And, the and I'm one. tired of seeing uh, what's her name from from Michael Myers. Oh, uh, you're Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis. It, you don't like Jamie she, Lee Curtis? She needs to. I like her in other movies. Halloween in sucks. Oh, see, I haven't watched it yet. Thirteen going? Well, no. What was it? Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday. Yeah, well, that was a great movie. She can. She didn't have true, to come back and do this one. True lies. She did it in seventy seven or seventy eight. Whenever they no, made. Oh man, that's what I'm saying. Well, I thought it was cool. But if you're gonna keep bringing back the guy that's. I know, but God damn. Like, you know what, she you doesn't know, have a you, kid? You, 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 spoiler alert, so I'm going to put it out there right now. You want to know what the last Halloween that just came out is about? Please tell me. I'm not going to watch it. It's not Michael not Myers. Gonna. It's a dude who gets bullied, which you're like, fuck that. But then he turns out to like, he the kid dies at the end because uh, he traps him in a door. The kid traps the babysitter in there and the yeah. babysitter like freaking out. So he kicks up in the door. Kid flies off like a three-story banister and just as soon as the parents walk in, they see the kid just eat shit and die. Oh, wow. So that was very shocking. I was like, this is going to be good. The rest of it was awful. It's it's that kid who act, that babysitter actually killed that kid, yeah, yeah. and he shunned in the town. He actually starts murdering, and he gets stuck up in a tunnel and finds Michael Myers, and Michael Myers teaches him the way to murder. Oh, okay. So yeah. really? I'm gonna I'm gonna and admit Michael I'm Myers probably gonna be like disappointed. All fucked up, and I'm like, what is this protege shit? <laughs> like, it's so stupid. Because Michael Myers crazy. be like. What are you doing in my tunnel? Why are you trying to kill my sister? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm killing my sister. If anybody killing my sister, I've been trying to kill her this whole time. There's just a, trying so to come weak, kill her. Dude, it was there's so a lot weak. of there's a lot of movies coming out with daddy issues. It's lately. the weakest shit like ever. Marvel the, Marvel's got a bunch of movies now that, that everyone's everyone's gotta be a father. Did you watch really? the the last of uh uh She Hulk? No. Uh well oh sh- do you want me to spoil it? No. Damn it. I only have that last episode to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Uh it's it's exactly what I wanted. Okay. I will say that, okay. uh, but but yeah, like Thor and Loki both have daddy issues. Uh, uh, Iron Thunder Man was amazing. Yep, yeah, Iron Man clearly has daddy issues. Uh, Peter Parker. Yeah, Peter Parker's Peter Parker's always had. He's his never dad. met his dad, right? Yeah, he knew his dad. Yeah, uh, well, especially his uncle. Uh, in certain ones. Yeah, he, he knows his dad's. Well, dad. they lived. They went to live with his uncle. Uncle Ben. Yeah. Yeah. He did. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I don't know. It's 
Well, who's your Who's your favorite? Yeah. Who's, oh, it's Jason. It is Jason. Jason, Jason, yours. Freddy was always weak to me, even though the first fucking Nightmare on Elm Street. Because hey, he wasted people go to sleep. All you had to do like, was stay kill asleep, me when I'm awake. alive, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, but that is some shit you, to be like. I'm falling asleep. Remember the Jason imagine, when they was trying to take like uh, five could, hour energies to stay yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> could you imagine <laughs> Freddy? <laughs> Didn't well, tell them about the crash. <laughs> I could see, I could see a Friday the Thirteenth uh, where it's Freddy versus cocaine, and then mm, and, oh yeah, and everybody just takes away. And he's Freddy, just sitting Freddy over there, sniffing through all his holes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Freddy can never go to like Miami. <laughs> no one's ever asleep. Do you see? Do you see? There's a new Pennywise movie coming. Uh, that, so, those are weak so, too. You think so? Oh, oh my man. gosh, I love the them. original. It with Tim Curry was scary because oh, it was see, original. I didn't, to me. I didn't think that one. I like the first one. The uh, first it was. The original, really good. The new one. No, 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 no. The first, new one. The new, first one? new one was really, really good. You got to get back. You got to give it, give it another watch. It, it's really good. I promise you. I so, thought the adult one. Was I think better. the adult one was. It, it just. It, if they was gonna do the adult one, they should have made it all one movie. Well, right. they're doing. You a feel prequel. what I'm saying? I understand they wanted to sell more tickets, but yeah. to make more sense to follow the first movie, you should have did all that in one movie. Well, the first sure. one was a miniseries. It was on tele. It was a television yeah, so miniseries. A television. So the original first one. But you the, don't think. You don't think it could have been a television series and yeah. like been number one on Netflix? Like oh, for sure, week? for sure. <laughs> yeah, but but they're doing a prequel to it. They're mm. gonna give us. They're gonna give the backstory yeah, of why how Pennywise. Is. Yeah, oh, why which, Pennywise is Pennywise? Man, it. Uh, I saw. I, mean, I, I saw. A, that. I saw I a trailer for it. Hey, Joey. Yeah, it looks. It looks good. I and, and again, I I grew up reading Stephen King, and and I I like I like that brand of of you know. Well, like um uh, storytelling. I mean, I they used King. to make Stephen King stuff into television miniseries. All oh the yeah, time. what's the one with the vampires? Um, uh, you're talking about Salem's Lot. Salem's Lot. They, yeah. That was a television miniseries. Yeah. That was pretty good. I watched it once. I, I told Gabriel earlier I wanted to see it again. Well, because the commercials were going to sell better than ticket sales. Yeah. yeah. So and and I'm I'm all for that. Well, that was Stephen but King that was, actually getting his like movie people to come yeah, yeah. see instead but of. But that was a movie. that was a that was. That was broadcast nationwide. Like that was on a major network. Oh, that, they that could aired. fuck up a Stephen King. Oh yeah, we the all the mist. <laughs> the mist. Yeah, the, um, the Langoliers was disappointing. Yeah. Look, uh, Stephen King movies that were bad. Stand by me. No, I'm just kidding. No, no was stand, that was fantastic. Uh, uh, was uh, it Stephen King Award Awards? No, no Stephen, Stephen King. That was uh, Under the Dome. Under the Dome was uh, was Stephen King's, okay. but they changed it completely. Under the Dome started out really good. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't think it ended badly. It just completely deviated, which I actually appreciated because I was like, I was like, oh, I get to watch. I I read the book, and now I or I read the novel, and then we I, I got to go and see like a different story. I yeah. knew the characters and whatever, but I, I thought that Under was, the Dome that television series started out really well. Dreamweaver was. Uh, one of the or no what dream catcher dream, dream catcher, catcher was yeah. one of the worst books never should have been made in a movie the fact that they were the fact that they got morgan freeman to come in there as some lunatic yeah. like military guy to kill alien i thought so, is also, morgan freeman yeah but he are these fucking aliens you know what they're morgan, <laughs> morgan freeman's taking that check my boy <laughs> yeah, and, and good for him look he's in scooby-doo I made, I he's, he's in scooby-doo Doo now no. well he's at least an episode of scooby-doo anyway all right you guys got anything else we'll wrap it up let I me think. check let me check make sure man I gotta make sure <laughs> i'm trying to think of what like the bet like the first conjuring was cool until like i realized it was elizabeth warren and her lying ass husband because those are real people i like the omen uh with damien's damien yeah um, yeah I, I oh, like the exorcist movies are great yeah the first uh, yeah that's the, true the yeah. first for one or two poltergeist was fantastic yeah because they use real skulls in poltergeist did you know that i so do you watch and and we'll we'll wrap this up but uh do you watch any of the uh like the the ghost adventures or any of those shows or anything like that no uh one of the things that uh i think i i disagree with just based on like because we've done ghost hunts and stuff like that, but the, one of the interesting things that I, I find is that sometimes people will be really quick to blame thing on a poltergeist, not understanding what poltergeist is, uh, which uh, based on a number of semi-experts in the field, uh, poltergeist has nothing to do with ghosts. Poltergeist is usually someone invoking or someone's energy. Bringing spirits? Not necessarily spirits, but just there's a, there's a TikTok video where a girl in Austria, uh, no, Australia? Amsterdam, uh, Amsterdam. She's in Amsterdam, and um, but she lived in this apartment. And the video shows like the lights flicking off and on in her kitchen. And then she walks. She finally walks in there. Well, when when she walks out, and the, it's a much longer video, but part of it is you see like a form show up, like poking its head out in in just a shadow figure or whatever. Wow. Uh, but they claimed it was poltergeist activity. But see, poltergeist activity doesn't necessarily relate to like ghosts. It's it's more about someone else's energy. 
doing that. They're projecting uh, that and they're creating that energy. They're here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you the best horror movie before you get into that. Okay. 13 Ghosts. That's probably yes, that was good. All yeah, that was good. I was that about to tell you. Dude. I was about to say that too, 13 man. 13 Ghosts. But it, it's, been, it's been a Twitter war, though. It's been a Twitter war, Twitter war, okay? Somebody's saying on Twitter, hot dogs are just American tacos. How do we feel, guys? Dum, dum, dum. I That's think, fine. And I, I'm agreeing that they're a sandwich now. I don't really yeah, care. Yeah, I, I, think, I think hot dogs are more of a sandwich than a taco, American taco. We'll American call them freedom tacos. tacos. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with Freedom Tacos. If they're American Tacos, then t- turn it up to 11. Okay. <laughs> Final tap. I just wanted to see how y'all felt about it, man. You know what I mean? I agree. I love fucking hot dogs, dude. I, I think too. that is a staple of American delicacy. I do. I do as well. But is water wet? Yeah. So is like ammonia in liquid form and stuff. Hey, yo, Mo, so. you going up? As long as it's an all beef hot dog. <laughs> do we need to go over the uh, states of matter? Solid, <laughs> liquid, and gas? Yes, please. <laughs> I don't care that it started out as some hey. liquid form. Hey. Half of McDonald's food is uh, even their chicken nuggets. Did y'all see There's how? Only, what did this? y'all see how um, <laughs> Taco Bell was fixing their meat? It comes in like doll There's, pebbles. No, that's the beans, bro. <laughs> no, it, no, 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 no. It was the meat, bro. I, 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 I saw the video. I saw it too. Showed it. It's the beans. No, bro, that is the meat. That's not. It's the a meat. little meaty, it's little beady thing. Freeze dried meat. Hey, look here. I'm just trying to tell you what I seen, man. Well, they put that water on that thing and then they spun it around. That we were talking about the states of matter. <laughs> it reminds me of that meme, you know, like in Spider Man, the the original one with Willem Dafoe and yeah. Tobey Maguire. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm something of a scientist myself. Yeah, and it was like uh, the original Toby. Yeah, it was like my ass. It, or it, 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 what did it go? It was like solid liquid. Well, states of matter, solid liquid gas, and it had the meme of Willem Dafoe going like, "Well, my ass. I'm sort of a scientist myself. Because <laughs> your ass can be solid, liquid, or gas." <laughs> Yes, we experienced yes, that earlier. Thank you very much, Zach. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> All right. That, Only that. the gas, not the solid or liquid. <laughs> we don't know what you do. Yeah, we have no Stay idea. Tuned, Patreon goal. Uh, I've never. <laughs> we're definitely putting a camera into the toilet. <laughs> oh, please, God, no. Two mics, one cup. <laughs> uh, just, just a reminder, early voting is now open across almost the entire country. If it's not open already in your state, just be uh, may, be mindful. Just get out there and vote. Uh, it's already been 12 million votes submitted. They yeah, already said we're breaking million. 12 we're breaking million. Votes. 12 million. Georgia saw 140,000 votes. On day one, well, they we seen what Herschel Walker was doing, so they they're scared of Herschel right now. You get what I'm saying? Are they they're like scared of Herschel. Oh yeah, they're like, yo, man, we gotta we gotta get this one not guy out. If, if he fucking wins, I'm scared of Herschel. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I have I have genuine fears of of because he's, he's like, literally walking around with CTE, talking about I want to run, I want to run something. Like what the fuck? It brought a badge. Like, people are mad about Kanye, but not Herschel Walker. I'm just oh, no, trying oh, to they're mad about Kanye. Herschel Walker, dude. We're just trying not to he who should not be named. Russell Walker's actually like talking to people. Fuck, no, no, no. Yeah, in defense of Kanye, we don't know that he's put a gun to anybody's head yet. Correct. You Correct. know the worst thing that could have happened to Herschel Walker is winning the Heisman because the coaching staff's like, fuck, he's got to talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> could you all just do us a favor and just just like sign language what we talk up about? here? What did we talk about, Herschel? Nod and go, uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Nick the Geek, engineer and producer, owner and operator of GOT Sound Studio. Check out details on how you can utilize his talent and production expertise at GOTSoundStudio.com. Thanks to Muff the Producer. Follow him on Instagram at Muff the Producer. Thanks to Shiana Rivers for the intro and outro. Follow her podcast, Who You Call in Holistic, available on most of your podcast listening platforms. Thanks to Trent Clark, a.k.a. DJ Lonzo, currently serving as the house DJ at the main course in Columbia, South Carolina. Make sure to go by and have a good time. You can contact Trent for all your entertainment needs needs trent at the all about nothing.com and on instagram at the real dj lonzo on twitter at dj lonzo top five you can also phone him 803-262-7982 if you enjoy the show consider becoming a patron by visiting our website and clicking at the link at the top of the browser that will take you to our patreon page you can find details on how you become a supporter or you can check out benefits there and just consider a donation so that we can continue to bring you this nonsense we enjoy doing it we enjoy you enjoying it as always you can follow us on facebook just search for all about nothing us on twitter and instagram at a an underscore pod, or you can find links to all of our social media and available podcast platforms by visiting theallaboutnothing.com. If you'd like to be heard on the show, you may call and leave us a message, 803-672-0533. If the time between these episodes is too far apart, you can fill that time by checking out some of our partner podcasts. Zach and I host What the Pod Was That with Carrie Simmons. Visit whatthepodwasthat.com for links and details. Carrie and Chrissy host Status Macabre. You can find details at statusmacabre.com. Ami Bland takes a deep dive down the rabbit hole in episodes of Welcome to Wonderland available on all of your podcast listings. Listening platforms. As well, you should check out our own DJ Lonzo's Top 5.
Live, hosted by Trent Clark, available on most of your podcast listening platforms. Uh, th- we'll be back next week. This is the All About Nothing podcast. You all stay safe and have a week. This the All About Nothing podcast is recorded live from the Maddie Johnson Podcast Studio at GOT Sound Studio in Columbia, South Carolina. The All About Nothing podcast is produced and engineered by Neek the Geek, owner and operator of GOT Sound Studio. To support the show, please visit theallaboutnothing.com for links to social media, merchandise, and more. Become a patron of the show by following the Patreon link at the top of our page. The All About Nothing podcast is an entertainment product of Barrett Gruber. Special thanks to Zach King, Trent Clark, Muff the Producer, Neek the Geek, and you, our listeners. Please subscribe, rate, review, and share. If you're on YouTube, please hit the like button and the notification bell. Thank you for listening.